<laughs> David has a uh, question on skin dues. Uh, mm-hmm. He saw saw the, the the cutting of the haggis there and was wondering if the skin dues have a, a good edge or was that just way easy to cut? It was way easy to cut, but it depends on the skin dew otherwise. Um, yeah. Usually they're sold with uh, a blade you can sharpen. It's not necessarily a super quality blade. Um, it will hold an edge, but it's you know, like a stainless uh, blade and, or some, occasionally they're chromed. It's not amazing. Um, they're more for show than for blow. Uh, you can get some skin dues, which are definitely meant to be a sidearm utility knife as they were back in the day. Uh, we do carry a few like that. Um, there's a Damascus one, for instance. There's a, a one with a good, sharp stainless steel blade that we carry um, called the Officer's Skin Dew. Look at them at the website if you want to. Um, that's basically it, yeah. It's, um... Yeah, they're, they're more uh, ceremonial, akin to like a letter opener, than they are generally to a functional utility knife. Um, you don't... You don't generally carry around a, a, a dress. You don't. You don't need a, a weapon when you're actually at a black tie affair, mm. or you shouldn't. Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> depends on who's depends, hosting. <laughs> depends on how much you drank. Right. Um, but you shouldn't need a weapon in a black tie affair. Um, so a lot of the skin dues that are you know formal black you know black skin dues dress skin dues um, are going to be just a. Not a super sharp blade, more like a letter opener kind of thing. There are, as Eric alluded to, there are a few that are a little bit sharper, a little bit better quality blades, but there's not not a lot of them out there in the marketplace. Mm-hmm. There is a, a weird kind of craft movement, if you will, for custom oh, yeah. skin dues and better quality skin dues from individual blade makers. Um, <clears throat> so if there's if you're looking for something special, custom, that kind of thing, there, there's, there's two issues. Number one, it's gonna, it's not gonna be stock. You're gonna have to have it made for you. And number two, it's generally gonna be a lot more expensive and take a lot more time. Mm-hmm. Um, the skin dues that we carry range from like 50 bucks to about 100 bucks or so. Most custom skin dues or higher end skin dues are gonna be 300 dollars, two, 300 dollars, that kind of price range for a small knife. Now, if you love knives and you have to have a functional knife and you're a knife guy, then that's fine. That may be worth it to you. Most people are just getting a skin do for a little bit of bling to stick in their sock for a nice formal kind of, you know, function, that kind of thing. So it's, it's really up to you. You have to decide, A, how much you want to invest, how much you're actually going to use it, and you have to come to a decision on that. There's, so there is a range out there, yeah. but you have to decide what you're, yeah, exactly what you're yeah. going to use it for. Now, we don't carry the custom stuff and the high-end stuff because generally the, the individual artisans that actually make the high-end knives don't wholesale. So for us to buy it and then mark it up and retail it, it would be a lot more than $300. Mm-hmm. So it's it's one of those where they it, there's such a small market for it that I would prefer as a business to just kind of pass that you know, pass our customers who want something like that directly along to some of those versus trying to make money off of it where there's not really any room Mm -hmm. because it would just be way too expensive Mm -hmm. already. Yep. Yeah. You can buy some skin do blades out there, which are mass produced like like places like Atlanta Cutlery. I don't know if they're really any good. Um, See what people say online. Um, If you're looking for a knife maker, I can tell you that they do come up occasionally in discussion on like our Facebook group, Kilt and Culture. Um, occasionally people will show off a skin dew which they've had custom made by a <coughs> knife smith um, and there's some gorgeous gorgeous stuff out there it's uh, if you're into it it's it's kind of like getting a, a really good tattoo it's kind of it's it's worth the investment it's a piece of art and it's something you're going to have forever and ever um, if you want a utilitarian skin dew you might consider getting up getting a blade and turning your own handle for it or uh, get one of the utilitarian ones like we have like the officers because they um, they're meant for daily wear Um, Or if you're like a certain guy named Lucas, I know, um, you can wear a box cutter when you're working in the warehouse. (laughs) Good old box cutter skin do. And before anyone asks, for those who want to know who to contact for that kind of thing, send an email at the sales at usakilts.com and we'll try to send you to some of the more reputable uh, skin do makers. Yeah. Yeah. 